Yes guys, it's me, your favorite custom tactics king, the one and only. I am back with another custom tactics video for all of you guys. If you're wondering what is the team you're showing us, well I am doing a stream where I'm trying to play the whole foot champs with this team. You'll be seeing the highlights hopefully next week for this guys, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And obviously as always, custom tactics, anything else guys. I just released the Pro Clubs build yesterday, we had a lot of great videos, text analysis, everything's there. Make sure to check out my channel for that. And obviously if you enjoy these videos, leave a like for me and subscribe to the channel. It takes one click. But it makes my day, you know, and um, obviously we're trying to build a community here and it's going incredibly well. So make sure to subscribe because a lot of you are still not subscribed, guys. What's going on? We're trying to beat the record here. Let's bring this stat up because we're so close to 1.1k subs, guys. You can play your part as always. But look, let's get into these tactics for 4 3 3. They were very successful last time I made them. People were very, very happy with them very happy so I'm, I'm looking to do the same thing here guys 433 the fourth variation guys this is the one with the cam and the two cms and obviously the left wing right wing striker and all the rest so what we're going to do is like last time balanced we're not going to mess around with this too much because the 433 is not the greatest defensive formation so we don't want to make it too difficult for you guys to defend it so make sure it is on balanced now um depth it's going to be different, uh, obviously. We're not going to have on 5. Uh, we're going to put the depth on 6. The reason why it's on 6 is because this formation is so good at pushing up and having players up there to give you options that you have to have it uh, higher up. And I think this is the best way to do it is by putting it on 6, guys. So if you want to obviously play nice and attacking football, this is the way to go with the 4-3-3. Make it attacking by pushing everyone up the pitch. That's the key thing, guys. In terms of offensive style, you have to be smart with this guys and honestly like I know a lot of you watch my videos time and time again and I, I love you all honestly all of you that comment thank you so much you know feel free to give me any feedback or maybe a video you would like to see like honestly give me any video idea shout it out to me and I'll be happy to look into it guys you know I do pl uh, player reviews I do pro club bills I do everything so honestly get involved in the chat below let's build it together guys i want to build uh our podcasts a bit more so i'm going to be bringing out another vid uh, video to do with that don't worry that's coming on the way offensive style long ball very important it helps you transition helps you pu push your players up your cam your center mids your right wing your left wingers they're all going to be rushing up and that's what you want to have obviously on a transition it's the key thing with you're going to lower it to 4. The reason why you're going to lower this to 4 is because, well, it's as simple as really with the width. It's too wide. The 4 3, three usually the biggest problem with it is it is too wide. And it is too difficult to link the place together. So what you want to do is lower the width and make it be easier for yourself, guys. That's At the end of the day, that's the key. Make it easy for yourself to win. Because that's what you want to do. You want to win. Players in the box. 6. As always, guys overload the box if you overload the box you're going to win i'm telling you this right now but you put in more plays in the box you are more likely to win than lose it's as simple as like it's a simple equation guys i'm going to be serious with you um it's not you know rocket science it's nothing like that guys if you have more players in the box you're more likely to obviously receive the ball back quicker you're more likely to start a quicker counter attack and you're obviously more likely to have players in there to help you out and if you don't have those players in there to help you out how are you going to attack it the next time you go there you probably won't as good corners i keep getting asked why did you put on two well guys because i don't want to concede counters i'll be honest with you if i concede the counter i'm in the mud you know, and a lot of people ask me, I thought this was obvious, I'm so sorry guys, if um, if you're confused about this, you know, you're always welcome to ask me in questions, but corners too, because I don't want to get counted, if I get counted, I'm in the mud, it's as simple as I'm in the mud, free kicks, two, once again, I do not want to get counted, it will allow me to have enough players on the outside of the box to defend on a counter attack, but also at the same time, I have enough players in the box to create trouble. That's the key with this. That's why I put it on two corners and two free kicks. And I suggest for everyone else to do exactly the same. Guys, you're going to probably skip through these. Um, and, you know, if you're skimming through these, you're not going to learn much. I'll be honest with you guys. This is about learning as much as it is about copying and hoping that I do the right job for you. You know, because if you don't know how to play with this formation, it's not going to help you with anything. So, um, yeah, guys, honestly. Comes across the sweeper keeper. We're going from the back. The reason why we're going from the back is because I want to show you something, guys. Both your right back, left back need to be on 
balanced. And you're probably thinking, that's risky. That's tough. But because you have a right winger and a left winger, it will allow you to basically have your right back and left back just push up a bit. They're not going to push up all the way. They're not going to interfere with your right winger and your left winger. And this is why it's so beautiful with this formation. Because they're going to just stay around the right mid, left mid area. Allowing you to press and get the ball back quickly. Especially after you lose it. Which is why it works so, so well. So your right back, left back need to be on balance. 100% of the time. You, one of your CDMs needs to be on stay back, cover center. Your other CDM needs to just be on cover center. Well, they're not even CDMs, they're sentiments in this formation. But this is how I would run it. In this case, it's Suchek. And the reason why Suchek is there, because Suchek is going to bombard. He's going to give the option to Lamella on that side. And obviously, Kuyate is there to pick up the ball with anything. I can always pass back to him, and he can restart the attack. And that is, guys, why you have one sentiment on stay back and one not on stay back. You guys have been asking me about that as well. This is exactly why you do it. The recycling of the ball is one of the most important parts in the game. You'll see that in my text analysis, you'll see that in any analysis video I do. So guys, that's what you have to do with that. Stay forward is very important on your cam. It will not work, this whole formation, unless your stay forward cam is up there. He needs to be up there. Without him, you are basically useless in this formation. Your cam is going to be running the show. They're going to be controlling everything that is going on. So make sure to have them on stay forward, guys. And I wouldn't mess around too much with getting to the box for cross. I mean, it's a 50-50. Foden's not someone that would work. I mean, guys, I'm using such a makeshift team. Um, my proper team is waiting for the final of the Blonde Game in Arena's Cup on Monday, which I will be streaming, so make sure to tune in to that. Now, your striker. Stay forward. Stay central. This is very important. The reason why they're on stay central is because you already have enough players on the wing. You don't want this striker to interfere and mess up your positioning. A lot of people struggle with positioning. You don't want your striker messing with that. Just let him be stay central and just let it be. Just let it be like the song. Guys, you, this is the very important part. Stay wide, get in behind, get into box for cross. Both of them. The reason why they're both on... Stay wide, get in behind, and get into box for cross. It's simple. One, you need them to transition quickly. The long ball and get into the box for cross will allow them to get into the attacks really quickly. Second of all, staying wide because this will give you options to pass with your right back and left back to make sure that they're actually able to stretch out and create trouble for the opposition. And lastly, 100% of the time, guys, get in behind because they need to be making a run in behind for you. If Kane's on the ball and he's staying central, there's no one on the wing unless they run in behind. And that's why you have to have them on there. That's why they have to be on getting behind. Guys, I hope that this video managed to help you at least a bit. Make sure to check out all my other videos, guys. As always, I really appreciate all of you guys' support. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. We're trying to go for that 1.1k subs. Um, obviously, it's all thanks to you amazing people because you are the reason why this channel works Thank you to everyone that's tuned into this video and guys until next time peace